Good morning, afternoon or evening. This is a replay from a game I played with Gas at 2-3 where I use a very unused unit, the flamethrower tank, to great effect against the China player. So, here we are in the game with the first person quitting on the enemy team, which already sets them back a little bit. A, a nice start here with access to a fish pool, some water, some decent wood lines and an average spawn. Nothing interesting happens until the medieval age, so I'll skip to that point. Okay, so here we are, medieval, got my stables up, most of my buildings upgraded, making workers, getting the intelligence agency upgrade. I've got, I think, nine fishing boats, eight fishing boats, a brilliant food eco, a good iron eco, small army of archers for defense, and another generic game. So, just training up some horse archers here, while Gasser sends in a second wave of sword, a swordsmen with my archers to support. You can see this player doesn't close his gate at all for some reason, this game. Here you can see my archers clearing out workers, while Gasser's swordsmen do their best to clear out workers units. He gets squads up, all of his swordsmen up into squads, and we take out the town hall in a decent amount of time. Here you can see I've also got my army of 15 horse archers, which honestly aren't that great, but they're better than nothing, and they're really cheap, just for 250 food I believe, which means they can easily be made with my amazing food eco. As you can see here, I'm killing off a few workers, I think I've got three there. As you can see, he's got plenty of towers and a, a small army, which prevents me from doing too much damage. I then notice his pier here, and in two volleys I can easily finish off most of his fishing ships. Here you can also see he's got hand cannons and Squad, uh, we're pushing in squads while I pick off some of his Stone Age workers. Seeing as horse archers are quite fast, they are very good at picking off specific targets, such as Stone Age workers, and over here a few workers that are building houses. I think I pick off all five of them, but in the act lose all of my horse archers to Ronin. As you can see, my wood eco and food eco are massive with a huge amount of workers on wood, 39 workers on wood, and I will put more workers on iron soon. As soon as I get to late middle ages, I start making groups of 10 Cossacks, and I'm almost already up to IR. Here I start struggling on my iron. As you can see, then our allies are pushing with horse archers, Ronin and Ashigaru. Also there's a single lone squad here running around, minding his own business. I start upgrading everything. All my houses get upgraded and I've still got 7,000 wood. So I've upgraded all my workers and I've still got almost 6,000 food. I send my first wave of Cossacks in with their 130 speed. One of my favourite, my, probably my favourite unit in the whole game. Closely followed by the star of today's video, the flamethrower tank. I try not to give away my position by attacking houses or anything. I attempt to go straight into his wood line, I believe, this time. Nope. I find that I can't get through, so I lead them on a chase over here with one. Kozak and the others go in to try to find some targets to attack. He's gone China. So at this point I'm getting very worried as to what I'm going to do against this player. I've split my army of Cossacks up and I go after his rice farm workers. This is one of the less effective attacks, as I did do one before that killed a lot of workers, but I simply missed that attack, sorry for that. But as you can see I kill off a few of his workers, nothing major, and I send another 10 Cossacks in. I carry on making workers and get the population upgrade done. 
I probably could have gone for my fishing ships and moved some of my many workers off of food. I'm also going to run out of copper there, and I'm about to move some workers onto this iron, as I'm also building factories. As you can see, Blue is sending horse archers and Ronin with my Cossacks into the enemy base to assist me. I also start making partisans as I saw mounted guardsmen. Which are right here. Mounted guardsmen and militiamen. So I do my best to counter that. I also send my Cossacks in but they get instantly killed by the mounted guardsmen. And so do Blue's army, so is Blue's army. I now have 22 partisans, 9 soldiers, and I start making machine gunners. And as you can see, my next army of Cossacks pushes through, but I'm just losing none, but taking huge casualties on health. And then just leave them straight into the base and worry more about defending as the magic guards wouldn't have arrived. I lose a few iron workers but my towers and my death sides including machine gunners easily push them back and with gas as soldiers assisting me I easily push a counter offensive. As you can see he's restocking his army and building more towers. He's also got a couple fishing ships after I destroyed most of them. And he's getting his foreign supply center up with two workers, four workers now. That would take forever to build. You can see mine and gases attack here with 43 partisans, 23 soldiers, one death scythe, and three extremely slow machine gunners. We were hoping to hold this choke point. But because he's got machine gun towers, we didn't want to waste partisans, and death sides cannot do anything against towers. You can also see some of Gavs' partisans pulling back. A bit of combat going on here. Some samurai and Ashigaru pushing up onto these enemies. As you can see, we've got the person who just went to Germany. We've got two China players and one German player on the enemy team, and that's the whole enemy team. As you can see, he did a, a, a push out into our front line, but none of his soldiers made it through because of our death sides, soldiers, and so on. I'm also starting to go up to IR2, getting seven factories up. Ten barracks and twenty-nine houses. And as you can see, Gasser gets his grenades, and we push forward to destroy some of the houses. But he pushes us back with a very good army, and I defend the best I can with these death sides, cutting masses of the enemy out. And my death side gets a good shot off here, killing a large portion of his army. I also start making flamethrower tanks and another army of partisans and soldiers. A single ball here kills one of my workers. As you can see, I've got a few soldiers here that managed to destroy one tower, I think. Not even, sorry. As you can see, I'm starting to get the houses upgrades. And now I can do nothing but go to Wonder, which I do in a minute, just in case he holds. I now have 58 soldiers, 27 partisans, and 5 flamethrowers. The issue here is that now I need to heavily micro this army, because if even one or two of these flamethrower tanks were to shoot uh, at any enemy infantry attacking my soldiers, they would wipe out half my army with those flame turrets. I also start going up to IR to, uh, to go to Wonder. I get five factories out from my five <laughs> five what they called tractors. I, I do know what tractors are, uh, and I also start making T34s. 
as you can see here, I start clearing out some of this forest with my flamethrower tanks as they come pass. And as you can see, the only thing he's got to counter me at the moment is trench mortars. You can see just slaughter of Chinese infantry here. I spread them out a little bit so that any splash damage from the mortars cannot easily get to me. But he does the perfect thing of hiding his trench mortars around on these hills, which are hard for me to get to. He also has machine gun towers and friendly fire from my flamethrowers clearing out his my soldiers. So I managed to kill a large portion of his economy by killing lots of his workers. I also managed to destroy most of his army and quite a lot of food eco by killing all those militiamen and heavy guardsmen. You can see I've only got four flamethrower tanks left now and I'm just chasing out these mortars. This is the perfect counter to China. As long as you can keep their eco down so you can not get to IR2 and get their foreign supply center working. Let's actually see how this guy's doing. Because he's got a pretty good eco and he could have started making tanks and howitzers. I'm not sure why he didn't. He's also got plenty of soldiers he could be using here. He could also be helping him. But instead he's making grenade launchers as he is IR2 now. I also get my Wonder of the World set up and T-34s, Partisans and or just soldiers actually start pushing forwards. I lose all my flamethrower tanks very soon. Go back to, to my perspective. I've only got four flamethrower tanks. All of them are getting quite low on health. And they're getting wiped out by the grenade launchers. But now that I've got my T-34s and soldiers here, I can very easily wipe out the city hall. I pull my flamethrowers back to clear out any of this militia that's coming in, try to take out my tanks, and he just doesn't get his workers back in time to repair. And that's the end of the game. My teammates did all the rest of the work with Gasser using a massive T-34 rush to clear out the other China player and the Germany player while I was dealing with this China player in the back. Thank you everyone for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.